Hi, I'm Nina Sundergaard. I'm a historian in Copenhagen, and I want to give you a bit of background on typical Copenhagener housing. Today, the most common type of housing for a Copenhagener is a two-room apartment in a six-story high block from before 1940. There's often an ice cream backyard in the court where the bin spikes and prams also have their place. This is quite new. From the 70s onwards, Copenhagen has raised and demolished almost all former back buildings, which could be stacked in five or six layers and many in six stories as well. Copenhagen was very densely populated because most people only had two means of transportation by foot or bike. Walking some five kilometers might take an hour each way of a 12 hour workday. Both trams, S trains, buses, and cars were not really affordable for ordinary workers until the 1960s. That made living in a dark back building look like a good alternative to sunnier but almost unreachable suburbs. Many apartments were quite austere and overcrowded. No lifts, no central or district heating, no hot running water, no shower, no toilets. Overcrowding, that is more than two persons per room, peaked in 1921 with more than 20,000 overcrowded apartments. 50 years later, the number of overcrowded flats was so low that no one bothered to count it, but by then some 12,000 Copenhageners were moving out of the city each year to suburbia to better houses. Copenhagen lost 40% of its population from 1950 to 1992. In 1921, only 10% of the houses in Copenhagen had a shower. That figure rose to more than 70% in 1990. Often by converted broom closets to bathrooms or by putting up a shower cabin in the bedroom. Many may do with public baths, as the one in Sjællandsgade or Nørrebro from 1917. Kids got a free shower at least once a week in school, and lots of cellars got a shower room for all the inhabitants in the building. Still, more than 2,000 apartments share a toilet on the back stairs with their neighbour. This is due to a law from 1938 that demanded a water flush toilet on every storey in residential housing. Before that time, many had to make do with the privy in the backyard, shared to up to 19 other inhabitants and some rats. Today, more spare time, more regulations and high expectation has given Copenhagen a fairer share of sparse and wellness in the newer buildings. So enjoy a nice and clean Copenhagen.